Hey, welcome to this Command Modern Air Naval Operations gameplay video. If you love modern simulations, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Hey, welcome. It's time to play some Command Modern Air Naval Operations. Today we're going to play the penultimate scenario, the next to the last scenario in this tutorial series, Canary's Cage. It's the most complex thing we've taken on yet. I have been poking at this for a week. Uh, I'm hoping most of you are smarter than that and can pick up quicker, but I have been working hard to figure it out <laughs> and to get everything down. But we're going to go ahead and get on in there. And if I can find it, ah, I will use the alternate save since I've had a different way. I've decided to play a little differently this time. So, here's the situation. It's 12th of October, 2005, 1200 Zulu. Location, Canary Islands, Moroccan coast, playable side, Spain. It's October 2005. Islamic extremist parties have come to power in several Arab countries. Algeria was the first, despite the effort of Western allies on both sides of the Atlantic to stop these regimes. Soon, all North African countries fell under the rule of NAIL, North African Islamic League including Egypt, Libya, Algeria, Tunisia, and surprisingly the pro western kingdom of Morocco. Okay, it's a it's a scenario. I don't think I believe that. <laughs> what the it's fun. We're going to play it anyway. Morocco with the help from other nail countries pressed her ancient claim of the ancient Spanish cities of Quetta and Melilla. The relationship between Spain and Morocco had deteriorated sharply after Perigil Islet affair and the Western Sahara referendum. Spain answered by reinforcing her military in those two cities. But as the situation started to cool down, a secretly assembled NAIL amphibious force landed on the Canary Islands and captured the islands in spite of stiff resistance by local forces. While politicians are discussing the invasion in the UN and NATO, Spain mobilizes her military forces to retake the islands. Let's load her up. And while it's loading, hey, if you haven't subscribed, why not hit that subscription button? Ring that bell so that you'll know when I posted another video. Like and share. That helped the channel out a lot. Just like the channel. It's easy. Click on the bell like button. And most especially, let me know what you think. This is going to be pretty woolly, and I'd love to hear what you have to say. Okay, well, we need to look at the briefing. Orders for Commander, Spanish Operations. Human intelligence from agents and robot indicate that a second NAIL amphibious force has been dispatched to the Canary Islands. It is composed of three to four troop transports and their escorts. Several NAIL submarines have been detected while taking up position off the coast of Morocco. Satellite recon shows both main airports in Gran Canaria and Tenerife are being used by NAIL air units. Proceed with Grupo Delta close to Santa Cruz de Tenerife and land the tier or Tercio de la Armata, the Spanish Marines. Expect attacks from sub, air, and surface units. Use Grupo Alpha to prov provide air cover, air and ASW cover for the amphibious group. Well, good luck with that. There's not much. Grupo Alpha is pretty weak when it comes to air cover. The enemy amphibious group must be destroyed before it reaches the landing area. To accomplish this task, you will need help from air forces based at Rota, Moron, and Torajon use these air units to attack Moroccan air bases and try to reduce their operability. A couple of submarines are in the archipelago already to gather information about NAIL defenses. They will also help its early detection of raids coming from Los Roteos and Gondo. Protect our troop transports at all costs. We will need every single man to recover our islands. The landing area is marked by reference points landing zone. Scenario duration two days and six hours. All right. Now, I'm going to be honest. We're not going to finish this today. We're not even, if, if in the next 30, 40 minutes we play a few minutes at all, that'll be cool. I just, there's a lot to go over here. It's a lot of things I've done. Here's our target. Here's landing zone. It's, reference points are there. I'm not going to select them. Looks like there's a SAM site there. Since we haven't started the scenario already, there's a couple of air bases that are in here. So what do you say we pulse this thing briefly? Okay, and that 
brings everything up. Uh, event random ships, event random ships, event random sub, and event active cap. Now, oh, an event random GRT. Huh, I don't know what that is. Was triggered but did not fire. I, you know, I ought to go and look at this and see what's going on, but that's interesting. And yes, it's random. These, I played, I don't know, the first day or so of this several times. I've never completed it. I've never completed it. I'm not sure I'm going to complete it in this video series. We may get smashed so hard in this area that there's no point. I don't know. But this is a learning scenario. This is a learning video. So we're going to learn how to set things up and how to decide you know how you're going to, the, the plan of campaign so and we're gonna need the cough button here ah, much better all right we've got an airbase here enemy airbase here and we have airbases at Torrejon, moron and rhoda here are our submarines we'll get into those in some detail in a bit, here is Grupo Alpha, which is composed of a bunch of frigates escorting the uh, carrier, the uh, Principe de Asturias. Here is our amphibious group, Grupo Delta, which has some frigates and LSTs. Look at that. A county class. Is that right? Yep, I think so. LST 1179 and what looks to be some homegrown LPDs. Yep. Okay. We got to deliver them here. So how are we going to do that? Well, first we got a bunch of missions to build. And to know what to build, we need to look at what we have to play with. So let's look at the Torrejon Air Base uh, aircraft. Now, I've already changed these. These were all loaded up with uh, AMRAMs ready to fight. I've decided that this, the Torrejon, at least for the first 24 hours or so, is going to load up, hit this airbase, and then this airbase. So, we have six F-18s with harms and five with paveway penetrators big fat let's see if i can get a uh, no pictures but these are uh, why is it talking about hawks that's interesting i think there's an uh-oh there yeah this doesn't look right <laughs> We click on GBU Paveway, and we get a description of Hawks. Okay, so that's not... Anyway, we've got laser-guided bombs that are designed to break up runways and harms high-speed anti-radiation missiles to knock off radars. So that's Torjan's mission, but they're hours away. It takes six hours to get these guys going. In about six hours, we'll probably launch... Probably launch every one of these. And at least four of the harm birds. We might launch all of them um, and really go for a crushing blow against uh, City Slimain. And let's get down here to Marone Air Base. Marone has... Oh, by the way, the other things up here. We need to look at that. I'm going to wake up. We also have C-130, KC-130 tankers to support our mission. We also have one offensive ECM bird. It's kind of a cute little thing. Uh, she's a little slow. She can't keep up with the F-18s. And we have a Boeing 707 Elent bird, which will be going up. We'll talk about missions in a minute. At Moron, and if I'm pronouncing this wrong, forgive me. You know, I, I can barely speak English. Uh, we have another bunch of F-18s. We have some KC-130s to support uh, missions out of this airbase. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 
that are on cap. And that racket you're hearing in the background is Sea Hag Speech and Ambient Sounds, Command Modern Air Naval Operations, blah, blah, blah. Very cool. Give us a little bit of ambient noise. I may try to figure out where I can link that. I think I know where I got it. If it's in the description, it's because I figured out where I got it. We've got, what, eight F-18s that are air-to-air, -air, ready to go, and assigned to a CAP mission, which we'll be discussing. We have another seven that were armed with harpoons, that after playing with them and seeing what I consider to be marginal results, I've decided I'm going, I'm going CAP heavy out of Moran. We're going to try to dominate... Um, if I can get this out of here. We're going to try to dominate the airspace in here uh, using these guys, which will be packing a bunch of AMRAMs, six apiece, here in three hours. We also have two P3, no, excuse me, four P3s, three of which are available, and they're already assigned to an ASW patrol. Again, we'll get to missions in a few minutes. At Rhoda, got a half dozen uh, Harriers. And they are configured for air-to-air -air combat. Now, they're kind of weak. They're slow. They've only got two AMRAMs and two Sidewinders. Um, they've got a cap that they'll fly. And we'll discuss the missions for them later. Later, They're going to be primarily concerned with defense of this area. So, uh, we also have some air units here in Grupo Alpha. I have taken the liberty of putting four of them, loading four of them with uh, guide bombs. And I don't think, they'll be ready in about six hours, I don't think there's any other option for them that really works rock eyes would be cool i won't tell you why rock eyes would be cool but not flexible enough um we're going to stick with the laser guided bombs they don't have a lot on board if you take a look here there's only 24 amrams available 32 sidewinders a handful of maverick lasers a few more laser guided bombs so right, this, this, and you know, she's got piles and piles of low drag general purpose bombs. We won't be using any of that. Don't have anything in mind for these right away. Uh, they could be used in a naval strike. They could be configured for a strike against um, one of these bases down here when we get there. Uh, I suspect naval strike might be more likely early on. She also has offensive ECM, which is an a Huey of all things. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. She has one airborne early warning bird. She has two Sea King ASW birds. Uh, they don't have any uh, Sona boys, but they're good for a quick reaction and uh, go dip and kill. And there are four Seahawks configured for ASW warfare. Uh, come to think of it, Grupo Delta also has some aircraft. She has EW birds. She has Seahawks. She has that guy that can't do anything. She has a Sea King AEW bird. She has two of those. These guys are assigned to a mission. They're going to run out to the. They're going to. They're going to fly out to Grupo Alpha and reinforce their airborne early warning, so that I can keep them in the air, keep enough of them in the air, uh, and then some EW birds, offensive ECM, and more ASW. Again, assigned the missions. We'll talk about that, uh, I guess, here right soon. Okay, let's take a quick look at the submarines.
we know that somewhere out in here there is a amphibious force heading this away. The Marsopa and the Mistral are out here to find and hopefully damage that group. Um, I've had mixed results. I'm pretty routinely losing submarines. I've yet to figure out how, to, well, I know how to beat them, I just haven't executed well. Down by the islands, we have the Sirocco and the Tramontana. Can I say that? Tramontana. Now, she has a mission. The Tramontana has a mission of landing a recon team. So she is heading here. And when she gets there, it'll trigger an event and land some guys uh, to recon the beaches. And then we'll be able to use her for other things. We're going to keep her deep and steady heading in. Sirocco, on the other hand, I want on the surface. She's here. She can use ESM to detect uh, aircraft in the area. Whew, see, Hag, you're noisy. To detect aircraft in the area uh, or any other surface units that are in the area. We'll just use them as the opportunity presents itself. Let's go to the mission editor. Hmm. I guess I had it on the other monitors. All right, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 missions designed, four of which will trigger as soon as, well, they've already triggered. We hit the button, didn't we? Uh, yeah, we did. It was a second or so. They've already triggered. They're going to they're gonna start launching. We have this... Airborne Early Warning Ferry, which is going to move two SH-3s to here. Now, the thing I have to remember is once they've gotten there, I have to join them to the Airborne Early Warning mission that is assigned to Grupo Alpha. And I've been thinking about this. I think we need to move her a little deeper into the protective aura of the uh, surface-to-air missiles here. Okay, uh, so when she gets there, got to remember to add those birds to this mission. We also have ASW Group Delta-1, which is a pair of Seahawks going to be patrolling this area. ASW Group Delta Two, which is a pair of Seahawks in here. And you know, I wonder if I shouldn't expand this, but we're going to leave it alone for right now. We also have something incredibly useful. We have an ASW mission of P3s to cover this group. Now, three of them can maintain for quite a long time cover on these guys and they will launch in 30 minutes change that to an hour might change it to one o'clock because there's a whole lot I mean a whole lot of air activity in this area for a while until we get it under control and I'd hate to lose one of those birds uh, while she transits from uh, I think they're at I think they're at Maroon yep while they're transiting. We're going to leave it alone for right now. We also have an ASW patrol covering this flank of Grupo Alpha. Another one covering this flank. Now, you notice I didn't cover the rear, the, the back side of these, and we might play with that a little bit. I also have CAP patrol trying to stay between. I might change that a little bit because, you know, a little bit is more better all the time, right? Uh, kind of like that, whatever. She's not active. We'll launch her when we have to, when we are pressed and have no choice. Um, there's also an electronics intelligence patrol, which will come up here when we need them. We don't right now. There's a mission here from Tarajan that will give us our ELINT 
for a while. And once these guys get further away, then we'll light up their elit guys. We also have one here for Grupo Delta. We've got a Boeing 707 out of Torrijon that is our elint bird that will be patrolling here. And that's what these guys at Rota are going to be doing. Uh, they'll be protecting him. We've got our cap out of Moron. This is going to be active quickly. And here's the Rota cap. Now, I'm going to go into this in great detail, but there's all kinds of things you got to remember. Don't, you know, whether you want them to investigate contacts outside of the patrol area. No, I don't. But within, yeah, within uh, weapon range, yes. Found out the hard way. You put tankers in the air, everybody will fly to them, even when you don't want to. I have seen freaking Harriers on cap in this area flying back there to get to a tanker. Got to remember that sort of thing when you're designing these things. Um, same thing here. I'm going to allow them. I say I'm going to allow them. Actually, I'm not going. I'm not going to allow them for right now. Um, this guy, he can tank. I don't know if he will or not. And uh, they, of course, all this. These guys don't have those options. Uh, what else? Oh, yes. Now, in the course of setting this up, I discovered some fun stuff. Let's look at what if we wanted to extend this back here. But since this reference point is used as part of this guy's cap. If I change that, it changes this guy's uh, area, changes the configuration. So what if we did a, and I'm going to try this. This is kind of fun. Control, insert. Let's place a control, insert there. And then we add is anything else highlighted? This gets to be a mess if there's anything else highlighted. <laughs> All right. Let's add points highlighted. Now, that worked beautifully. I've seen it freak out and cross everything up. Well, here's the point. This moves these up and down. Let's move it up. That tears it up. Ruins. It will not validate. It failed. So when you run into that, you can go study what's going on and use these controls to fix it. And suddenly, we've got that going. Now we can leave that selected. And we can add that to the other ASW mission and see if it works. Yes, it does. Very nice. Now, the other thing we need to do, notice that these are... Flex, uh, fixed. Uh, wait, what am I looking at there? Oh, that's the ASW. I mean, excuse me, the cap. We don't want to look at that. These are relative to the group. So if the group changes course and goes this way, then these will shift around to keep this flank covered. If we're going to do that, then we need to make that, that reference point relative bearing two and select group o alpha and now we have redesigned these asw missions i think that's very cool i think that's really cool so i don't get too deeply into that all right we're 24 minutes in and all i've done is talk uh what's the plan the plan is talk about this briefly. When these guys come up, we're going to strike this airbase hard. Early on, we're going to be flying the cap out of Moron aggressively to knock down whatever we can knock down that's in the air in this area to suppress the uh, birds flying out here. Kill as many of them as possible or force them to come up and go back, rearm and refuel and be sitting on the ground 
when the guys out of Torajan come down and put the hurt on them. Uh, we've only got 30 hours. The distance between here and there, that's 125 miles. That's 525, let's say 525 miles. So that's 650 nautical miles that we've got to get there in 30 hours. Well, on the cough button, please. Oh, 650 miles divided by 30. These guys have to maintain 21 knots. They've got to get going. Ah, much better. They've got to get going or they aren't going to make it. They aren't going to make it at all. So right now, Grupo Delta is making 19 knots, which is all they can do. <laughs> well, I hadn't thought about that. I wonder if these guys can make it at all. In any case, we certainly cannot change this course. That course, that just got to run down that way, which means they're going to be very predictable. It's going to be very dangerous, which means that Grupo Alpha has got to clear the way, as well as the uh, Air Forces out of uh, the Spanish bases. Ah, I could think of about a million more things to say. We're 30 minutes in already, and I'm losing my voice. Thank goodness for the cough button. What do you say? We get started, play a little bit, see how things run, and then we'll get bloody serious about this in the next video. So let's set her up. We're going to do some as much as we can at 15 seconds. Won't be easy. Once it gets busy, that will not be easy. Oh, check a few things. That guy's got his... Radars on. These guys do not, which is cool. I don't want them having certainty of targeting in here <clears throat> as long as we can get away with it. They will have airborne early warning and they do have radars through here, so our ability to hide that group is uh, marginal. Um, if we need to, we'll fire up their radars and uh, we'll uh, even got jamming that we'll use when the time comes. For now, we're going to get started. Let's push the button and go. All right, what have we got going now? We've detected the skunk here. We'll figure him out shortly. Airborne early warning will get out there and see him. There's our first flight of F-18s on a cap that's going to be patrolling in this general vicinity. And all right, this guy's dive. He's dive. I don't want him to do that. I want him to come to periscope depth. And if really, I want these guys at periscope depth. I don't think there's there. What we haven't discussed. There's so many MCON settings. Yep, they're already fixed. In fact, uh, I should have thought of this before. More on cap mission doctrine. I've been having problems with my weapons release authorization. I thought it would be brilliant to set them to 25 miles, but in fact, it hasn't been. So we're gonna set them out to 35 miles on uh, that cap. And we'll see why here shortly. Go here. And reach them out a little bit. 35 miles and I'm doing this because we do have a major advantage with these AMRAMs that will be demonstrated shortly we'll discuss what that really is the problem is at range they don't hit as often so you want to bring it in as close as you can but it, it's it's a balancing act and uh, like I said we'll see that in a minute all right. 
All right, we got bogeys, there's F-16s, and something else. I know what it is, but we'll discover in a moment. Is he going to wander? Nope. I was kind of hoping he'd wander out here. All right, what have we got here? Radars. Our elent bird near? Yes, it is. <clears throat> and we have contacts over here. Right, he's making 800 knots. It should be just below the lair. Right. This guy has a contact in that direction. Oh, it's a convergence zone contact. We can turn that way. We, I think we're going to let that develop a little bit before I go turning in that direction. Airborne early warning bird is up. Get out here and see who he is. Let's go. Ah, uh -uh, good, good. This is what I want. Come to Papa. Yes, yes. All right, this is fixing to get serious. Now, we were talking about setting these ranges for the weapons. I believe these guys have about a 40 mile, nautical mile range. Right. Got it set to release at 35 nautical miles. These guys are armed with sparrows. It's a mere semi-active radar homing. Watch what happens. Oh, come on now. It's going to misbehave. Sometimes you have to zoom a bit to get it to act smooth. Watch what happens as these guys approach. Should be seeing missile launch soon. Why haven't you fired, you big dummies? They are one. Let's force their hand. All right, here we go. We've got inbound weapons and outbound weapons. Now, watch. Did you see that? Let's slow it down. As these guys go defensive and turn away, these guys get out of their radar cone, and these weapons go stupid. That's awesome. That's what we use this range advantage for. Our guys have yet to go defense. Well, they've gone defensive already. Hopefully, when these things light up, these guys will be within their active seeker cones, and they'll pursue them. I'm surprised at these guys. Yep, they, they lost. Yep, look at that. Look at that. Oops. Oh, this game's hard to control. Get them, boys. And thump. This guy's got a problem. Got him. All right, stop. Now, this guy needs to die. We're going to... Is he in the patrol area? I don't know. Mission editor, select bar on cap. And he's not there, which means we're going to have to force these guys to attack him. We're going to hit you to unassign them from the cap mission. All right, I'm going to group view. We're going to do F1. Say, that's not a good guy. I want you to go after him. In the meantime, let's take a quick look out. Oof. Skunks in a little group like that. Bad guys, bad guys, bad guys. Here's our airborne early warning mission. Ferry mission coming that away. Here's our Elent guy. He's still climbing to altitude. And let's get down here and see if we can bag this guy. Two seconds. No. Five seconds. Better. We spent a lot of time going slow. Yep. Okay. 
dangerous to come over here. There's Sam's over here. Probably about like this, but I think we caught this guy out. Uh, more bogeys. Come on, get him. Excellent. All right. Now, pause. Right click. Assign the mission. Send them back on their cap, and off they go. This we've got to watch for. We don't really want to go this way right now because we get sucked into the SAM range here, which the AI is really good at doing. All right. I think... Right. Cap mission has launched to uh, replace these guys. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Nothing much changed here except this. <sighs> All right, we're going to turn and go that way. I don't want to get way out here with this submarine. I want him to be in this vicinity. So we're going to approach this guy, see if we can find out what he is, and maybe kill him while the, the Tramontana Oof. Makes his way. Ah, other things that are happening. What do we got here? Skunk. I believe we have found, we got bogeys and this guy. We have found the guys we are looking for, the uh, amphibious group. And we do control D. Uh, huh. That looks to be their course. I wish I could draw a line on the screen. All right, guys, I want you to come up to periscope depth because I don't want to wear out your... Oh, that doesn't work. I don't want to wear out your battery too early. I want you to come in this direction. Let's do this again. Control D. Yep, that looks good. I want you to come. Uh, I don't know what it is with these. I don't know why it does that. Select here. F3. Go there. And let's see. Uh, I didn't leave him selected. Control D. That looks pretty good. And I want you to come to periscope depth and make sure that you keep those batteries charged right now. Uh, what else is going on here? Not much. Airborne early warning here is up in the air. Turn it up to 15 seconds. And let's go. All right. We have been bounced from this away. Unpleasant. Slow it down to five seconds. F3, turn that way. And we've got airplanes in here. Missiles, missiles, bogeys. All right. Unassign again. F1. Attack the bogeys and hope that we get away with it. This is a quick way to lose F-18s, I'm afraid. These guys have already got the jump on us. There we go. Now they're going to go defensive before these guys drop away, it looks like. Oh, they made it. Excellent. But, same thing happened here. All right, right now, Commander, S-72, Tramontana, proceed to the landing zone and insert UOE team. We need to explore the designated landing area before Grupo Delta arrives. Stick to your primary order. Do not attack unless you are fired upon and in self-defense. Tramontana must be before 2400 GMT. This isn't terrible, written terribly well, is it? Once in land, UOE team must recon the enemy for, for enemy. In there. Okay, we know that. We're going to close it. We're going to watch this very carefully because I don't want to fall into this SAM trap. 
This guy's got one AMRAM left, and there's a problem. Got to turn the radars on when they come out of mission. And there. Oh, we got s sidewinders and AMRAMs and not good. We missed him. Come on now. Oh, uh, these guys, come on, come on. Don't go that way, it's gonna get you killed. Oh, you big dummies. Lost an F-18. Or did we? No, that was, that was, that was, I think we killed him. Did not lose an F-18. We killed another F-16. And that other guy was a Hawkeye, an E-2. We wanted him dead. Okay, awesome. And at this point, we come back in here, right click, assign the mission, we're on cap. And they ought to quit acting stupid and not go that way. You'll get killed. All right. Here comes a replacement, which is a good thing since they're down to no AMRAMs. And let's take a quick review. Where are we? These submarines are moving to get in front of what I believe is our amphibious group discovered by our airborne early warning guy there. These two submarines are doing their thing. He's moving in to land the reconnaissance guys here, and he is approaching what we now know to be an Anuchka 2. So we'll go see if we can kill that guy. It'll take a while. We have four skunks heading for our main group. Danger, Will Robinson. We're going to have to deal with that. The airborne early warning guys are on their ferry mission to land in Grupo Alpha. The Moron Cap has done its opening moves, which was to beat up some of the air guys coming out of City Slamane. There's probably more. We've got more work to do. Here comes more Cap. Our Elink guys are on the way. And what time is it? 12.30. Our P3 guys should be launching if they haven't already. They're taxiing to take off. We'll have P3s in the air soon. All right, 40 minutes and change. And you know what? I know not a lot happened, but this is very complicated. There's a lot to do. So what do you say we put a cut in it right here? And we'll get back after it. If we have another 30, 40 minutes in the next video, there'll be a lot happening. Hey, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you again soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of Very Young Waz, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button and please share and comment. See you again soon.